To make the cardigan we need for a small size 350 grams of this yarn. It's recommended to use a 3.5 mm hook. If you want to make the cardigan with two colors you must use 200 of the main color and 150 grams of the second color. You can also use drops saffron a 3.5 mm hook and scissors. Remember that now you can buy all these materials in our online store. In this case it is for a small size. If you want to make other sizes you can find the pattern and how much yarn you need in our page. We start making a slip knot and we have to make chain 120. 120 chain Once we have all the chains we have to close making a circle with us making a slip a stitch with the first chain. We have to close making a slip a stitch. We start with chain 3 And we have to make one double crochet on each chain. One double crochet on each chain. We have to make 120 double crochet. Continue on the next row with chain three, and we have to make, and we have to make in the same space of the chain three, two double crochet. This will be the first part of the last corner. Chain one, skip one space, and continue making three double crochet. Three double crochet. Chain one, skip one space again, and three more double crochet. Three double crochet. And repeat the same chain one, skip one space, and continue making three double crochet. We continue making the same to have six groups of three double crochet. And now we are going to make a corner. Chain one, skip one space and on the next space we have to make three double crochet but in the same space. Three double crochet in the same space. Chain 2, skip one space and 3 double crochet on the next space. So 3 double crochet again together. We have one corner. Continue with chain 1, skip one space and make 3 double crochet. 3 double crochet. Repeat the same, chain 1, skip 1 space and 3 double crochet. And repeat the same to have 8 groups of 3 double crochet. Once 
Once we have the eight groups, we have to make again one corner, chain one, skip one space, three double crochet in the same space, chain two, skip one space and three double crochet on the next space. Three double crochet together. Now we have to repeat again six groups of the three double crochet, another corner, then eight groups of three double crochet, and once we made the last group of three double crochet, we have to complete the first corner, chain one, skip one space and make three double crochet in the same space. Then chain, chain two and make a slip stitch with the third chain of the beginning of the row. You can see here the four corners what I am going to make now is to change the color on each row. So we have to take the new color, chain 3, we make two double crochet here in the previous space of the chain 3, two double crochet, chain 1 and now on each chain 1 space of the previous row we are going to make a group of 3 double crochet. So here we have to make 3 double crochet. Chain 1 and on the next chain one space we have to make again a group of three double crochet. Chain one again and on the next space three double crochet. And repeat the same to the first corner. Once we are at the corner, we have to make three double crochet, chain two, and on the same space, three double crochet again. Here you can see one corner, chain one and three double crochet on the next chain one space. And repeat the groups of three double crochet to the next corner. Remember chain one between the groups. We are again at the corner, so three double crochet. chain 2 and 3 double crochet on the same space. Here you can see the two corners. Remember that it that this is a little sample. Continue with chain 1 and three double crochet on the next chain one space. And repeat the same to the end of the row.
Once we made all the groups, now we have to complete the first corner, making three double crochet. Chain two and close this row with a slip stitch with the third chain of the beginning of the row. Here you can see the row finished, now we are going to change again the color. Take the blue, chain 3, and on the previous space of the chain 3 we have to make 2 double crochet, Continue with chain 1 and we have to make groups of 3 double crochet on each chain 1 space of the previous row. Groups of 3 double crochet to the first corner. Once we are at the corner, we have to make three double crochet. Chain two and three double crochet in the same space. And continue with chain 1 and groups of 3 double crochet to the next corner and repeat the same on the corners and once we are at the last stitch and once we are at the end of the row we have to complete the first corner making 3 double crochet chain 2 and make a slip stitch to close this row. Here you can see the shape of the top part of the cardigan. Those are, those are the sleeves, this is the front part and this the back part. And we have to continue increasing, remember to increase you have to make the two groups of three double crochet with chain two on the corners. And we continue making increases to have 12 rows with increases. Here we have 1, 2, 3. Continue making increases to have 12 rows. Once we finished with the increases, now we have to separate the sleeves from the body. We place the next color, chain 3, and here on the space of the corner we have to make 3 double crochet, counting the st chain 1 and continue with a group of three double crochet on the next chain one space and repeat the same to the next corner once we are at the corner we make again three double crochet We skip this side and go to the next corner 
we don't make any separation chain and we have to make three double crochet on the next corner and here you can see the hole of the sleeve chain one and continue with the groups of three double crochet to the next corner Once we are again at the next corner, we make again three double crochet. And we make a slip a stitch with the third chain that we made in this row, leaving again the hole for the second slip. You can see here that we are making the part of the body. And we are going to work in the round with the body. Place the new color, chain 3. We make on the previous space of the chain 3, we make two more double crochet. and continue with chain 1 and 3 double crochet on the next chain 1 space chain 1 and repeat 3 double crochet on the next chain 1 space and continue working in the round making the groups of three double crochet with chain one in between to finish this row And once we made the last group of three double crochet, we have to chain one and make a slip stitch with the third chain of the beginning of the row. We continue working on the round, making the part of the body to have 42 more rows. We repeat again how to make the row. In the round we have to start with chain 3. We make 3 double crochet on the previous space of the chain 3. And then continue making the chain 1 and 3 double crochet on the next chain 1 space chain 1 and 3 double crochet on the next chain 1 space and repeat the same to the end of the row Once we made the last group of three double crochet, we have to make a slip a stitch with the third chain of the beginning of the row. Once we have the 42 rows, now we have to make the, the edge of the bottom part. We have to start with chain three, make one double crochet on the next, on the group of the three double crochet, on the chain one space we have to make two double crochet two double crochet on the group of three double crochet
on the next space of chain 1, 2, double crochet, two more double crochet on the next group of three double crochet, and repeat the same to the end of this row, making the edge of double crochet. And once we made the last double crochet, we only have to make a slip stitch to close this row. Here you can see that we finished the part of the body and now we are going to make the sleeves. I'm going to show you how to make one sleeve and to make the other sleeve is exactly the same but on the other side. We have to take the yarn, in this case the yellow yarn, with the crochet hook we have to take both corners of the sleeve to avoid a hole and what we made on the part of the body we have to repeat the same on the sleeve. Chain 3 We have to make three double crochet on the first corner chain one and groups of three double crochet and chain one making the round to finish the row. Once we are at the last group of three double crochet, we make again the chain one and on the last corner we have to make again a group of three double crochet. We make a group of three double crochet on the corner. Chain one and we close with a slip stitch with the third chain of the beginning of the row. As you can see, we are making rows on the sleeve and we have to make the same that we made on the body. In this case, we have to make 52 rows of the sleeve. We have to make one decrease for each 10 rows. So we have to make five decreases, one decrease for each 10 rows. Now I'm going to show you how to make the decrease. We make the chain 3 again, make one double crochet on the space before the chain 3. We don't finish this double crochet. We make one double crochet on the next chain 1 space and we have to close both double crochet together. We made one decrease.
Once we made the last group of three double crochet, we have to make, as always, a slip stitch with the third chain of the beginning of the row. Remember, you have to make 52 rows in the round. Every 10 rows we have to make 1 decrease, so we have to make 5 decreases. And once we finish the 52 rows, we have to make an edge in the same way that we made on the bottom part of the body. Here you can see the original cardigan. Here you can see one sleeve. The other sleeve. and the part of the body.